1,000 Burundi military personnel land in Biafra land to help Nigerian army to fight Biafrans. Hear the news in details. Wonderful people of Biafra, lovers of freedom all over the world, you are welcome to Biafra Unite channel slash television this very moment. Today's date is 14th of January 2023 and of course it is now on record. I am making this very broadcast to make it known to all Biafrans both home and abroad and of course the world at large what is happening currently in Biafra land. Biafrans and lovers of freedom, I want you to take this very information very very serious because it is not a joke, this is real. We are not to lament, we are not lamenting, but I am bringing this information to your notice because the intel is intact and we have verified it and it is very very authentic and we cannot remember. This very platform cannot lie to you. Everything we tell you is gospel. And of course, Mazi Simon Ekpa has also reacted on this very information because it is authentic, it is reliable. And also, I'm going to bring his tweet to the screen for you to see and confirm by yourself. So, lovers of freedom, we are not here to lament. We just want to send a message across let the whole world know what is going on because but before i tell burundi government and their people what is going to happen to the these 1000 soldiers that they have brought to nigeria and they are currently in biafra land to massacre biafrans in the name of preserving one zugeria one almighty damnable zoological republic let me first of all bring the tweet made by Mazi Simon Epa to the screen and we will read it together and after that we shall now move forward to analyze the current situation and of course to tell our people the next step to take. Now according to the reaction of Mazi Simon Epa towards this very latest development, he wrote on his verified and official Twitter handle, he said, breaking we are calling on Burundi government to explain to us and to the world on whose approval did over 1,000 soldiers from Burundi arrived Nigeria and are now in Biafra land as foreign machineries. We also call on Burundi women whose husbands are serving in their army to know that there are 20,000 illegal foreign soldiers in Biafra land that arrived on 13 January 2023 in Biafra territory and none of them will make it back to their country. That is the reaction from Mazi Simon Ekpa that none of them will make it back to their country and let me state this categorically that burundi itself as a country burundi herself as a country has a total of 12 million five hundred and fifty thousand people as a country the total population of burundi is 12 million five hundred and fifty thousand people and the total military personnel, current military personnel serving as the military personnel in Burundi are 20,000 in total. 20,000 in total. Are you listening to me? What I'm giving you is gospel. The current serving military personnel in entire Burundi are 20,000 military personnel and 1,000 have arrived in Biafra land. So they are now remaining 19,000 19, in Burundi. <laughs> Laughable indeed. And let me say this, only Anambra state is more populated than the entire Burundi, including their military. Only Anambra state. Only Imo state in total, both home and abroad, is more populated than the entire Burundi, both them, the, the, the civilians and their military, including their police. And are you listening to me? I want you to share this news because it must get to Burundi. Are you, are you following? So, 
this one thousand ordinary one thousand that just uh, that just came will no go back to tell the story of what happened or what what they see in biafra land they should go and ask question this very war we have fought it before we fought we stood against the entire arab world both saudi arabia egypt and all of them we stood against them and that time russia was on the side of the zoo we stood against them for complete 30 months almost three years now the the people that engineered that war was britain we stood against them we defended ourselves for complete 30 months even though we lost we lost so much but at least we fought diligently and defended ourselves for 30 good months and they thought they have depopulated us but today i want to assure you in the entire black race no tribe is more populated than the Igbo tribe now i'm talking about Igbos alone not all beer friends go and make your inquiry anywhere you go you see they say this person is nigeria that person is an Igbo man so the entire black world both in africa and in south america there is no any single tribe that is more populated than the Igbos. Because if you count those in Southeast, the place they call Southeast, including some other, you know, regions that are Igbo speaking, you know, communities, both in other, you know, states, they are all Igbos. Now, you count those in outside countries. <laughs> you see that no tribe in the world, no black tribe in the world that is more populated than the Igbos. Now, when you talk about the entire Biafra land, we are legion. So they cannot deal with this. They cannot deal with this. And you know what? The Biafra people, especially the youths, are now together to fight once and for all to restore God's kingdom here on earth, which is Biafra land. We are now together. You know, this is no longer that time. The time of Masob and all that. No. That, this time of Ramaz and Namdekanu did a great job to unify us. And Maz Simon Epa, together with all of us in autopilot, in IPOB autopilot, join hands together to do the needful. And I want to assure the zoo and the A and the entire world, anybody who wants to support the zoo to keep the this very this very slave uh, uh, you know creation together, to impoverish the people, to make the people suffer endlessly in perpetuity. I want to tell them that this time around, this very year 2023. If a fire are full, what they are going to see this year, they have never seen it before. They didn't even see it between 1967 to 1970. I'm telling you. Because all oh they will be shocked. They will say, ah, that we are not aware it's like this. Because we are going to engage them. They will realize that they have messed with the wrong people. Because the anger in us. The anger in us, this very current generation, is boiling like hot, like, like hot soup. And I want to assure Burundi, Burundi, that this 1,000 people, that they have, ordinary 1,000 people, <laughs> that they have sent here, <laughs> I pity them. I'm sorry for them. They should go and ask us Sorok. Last year, they brought 2,000 to Imo State those 2000 did not go back to to the north they also brought people who were fighting boko haram in sambisa forest which was you know widely publicized they brought people from sambisa they brought people from zamfara they brought people from yobe these states are states where terrorists have all taken over they removed those soldiers there, brought all of them to Biafra land last year. <laughs> and I want to tell Burundi that they did not tell story of what happened to those soldiers that they brought to Biafra land. So go and ask question. It was widely publicized. All the zoo gotha media outlets publi published this very, you know, uh, uh, news. 
but what happened to them nobody knew and today <laughs> the zoo is hiring soldiers everywhere to fight biafrans that is to show that biafra is here and that is a sign of victory don't panic no biafran should panic for this this is a sign of victory when it, it first of all it shows that they lack personnel there is nobody in those barracks you see in the zoo here no but nobody's there they lack personnel if they go all the way to burundi to borrow soldiers burundi ordinary burundi <laughs> thank you my people i'm make it go viral